Welcome to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. Join us in our campaign and shenanigans as we explore the subterranean labyrinths, plunder hordes of treasure, battle legendary monsters. This podcast will be following our gaming group and the adventures of these characters, as well as a few guests from time to time. Join us as we start a new campaign and our journey to experience the best, and maybe the worst, in the 5th edition of Dungeons & Dragons. Hey guys, Jim here from Creative Flame Podcast Network. Just reminding you that if you enjoyed this show, please check out our other shows. We've got Scion Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion hero to Ragnarok story. Basically, it's an adventure where a group are playing a bunch of Scions from the Scion RPG from White Wolf, which are modern day demigods. Folks that go around trying to save the world. They're, they're kind of confusing me currently whether they're heroes or they're just going along looking for a friend for the end of the world. But the group is playing, at this point, a group of all Norse gods. So we've got Cain, the Scion of Vidar, Thora, the Scion of Thor, Bryn, the Scion of Njord. Frost, the scion of Uller, and Trixie, the scion of Loki. Currently, uh, they've been adventuring for a year now and have had quite an adventure. So if you guys are looking for something to listen into there of the modern day story, go ahead and jump on there and listen to that one. And again, thank you for listening to the Creative Play and Podcast Network, where on that channel we always post stuff about game reviews, uh, one or two shot demos that we play, and the occasional game they're going to be playing at cons. So if you want to go ahead and run into us at one of the conventions, we we were planning on making a few games there, so that way we can have folks playing the conventions, get to post it on the podcast. That way folks at home can hear other players that uh, play the games as well and what their opinions are. So like always, guys, thank you for listening. Check us out on Facebook. We're now on Twitter. And if you get a chance, please rate us on iTunes, because that helps other folks find us. Welcome back to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. Yay! Yay! Okay, so you guys went through the giant sump hole, and you, you went around, you ran into some of those rats with the corpses, you killed the rats, you went down away, and you found a... The a, R-O-U-S's? Yes, yeah, the of That's going to be, be a story we'll be telling to our children. Yep, <laughs> and you're in the room with the giant rats. dwarf statue. Big one. And uh, it has, it's a giant dwarf statue. <laughs> and, <laughs> it's an oxymoron! Oh my god! Is it just normal size? It's an oxymoron! It's a human sized dwarf. Kill it! <laughs> oh, and we got <laughs> Tinder bursting off the bat. It's oh coming. My god. I sense it from the dwarf. <laughs> She's got the robot arms going on. Oh, 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 let it go. <laughs> you know, it's probably best to just okay. get it out. Yeah, yeah. just get it out of the way now. Obviously, it's just a person with a beard. Come on. <laughs> so we see this person. thing. So and just whatever. a reminder on the statue, it's got a little a little placard underneath it that says <laughs> Petrified Iron Star Dwarf. Found in 1452 DR in Red Larch West Quarry in broken condition. And you can see where basically the statue is So like it's excavated. Dirt. Yep. And it's like. Wait, wait, but if it's petrified, that means it was alive once. That, that's, Something petrified it. That's so what they're saying. Follow them to some sort of museum here? Was there <laughs> oh, great. And no. That means there's a Medusa uh, occupying the quarry. Gorgon. Uh, and you came Oregon. in from no, no. that direction. Okay, no, no, I'm going to point out that there are giant dwarfs. <laughs> no, we're, we're focusing on the Medusa. Okay. Well, no, but my, my con- I'm just, I'm just curious. So we found the. Well, you know, dinosaurs became kiwis, so this. let's just move along. Okay. So, so was there a city <clears throat> over here in the past? Does anybody know? That- there may have been. Probably. Remember, this purpose. place this that stuff you're doesn't in come now, come up overnight. Yeah. This, so this facility that you're in is finely crafted dwarven architecture under under. Would somebody the would you, to make a roll. Do you have history? I have one point of history. I, I think she should get a plus because she is a dwarf. Let's try this again. So, so I, say, this is, yes. I say, oh my! It seems like we have fallen into a city that was here before the city on top of us was built. I wonder if anybody knows about that. Oh, I don't know. I. I might know a thing or two about it. You get the yeah, impression that, that this is a very <laughs> old dwarven architecture, and there's no records of this place. But it's definitely the the, the craftsmanship screams that this was built by dwarven hands. Well, this might be, you know, dwarves we don't talk about, like our, you know, cousin Benny who took the took soup the ladle and head. didn't tell our mom about it. <laughs> we disowned him, and then he came and he made this. Under this other town. So wait, kind of like a homestead, splitting off of a homestead. 
but this and they go off and they make their own fortress somewhere. Wonderful well, people. But right. this is ancient. Well, how old I, is your so, family? No, how I, old is I your mean, Benny? That was that was an example. It wasn't actually my cousin, probably. He's so when not we that were clever. wandering about, like we didn't hear people saying. Oh, it's been great here since we built on top of these abandoned dwarven ruins. No one said, no, no one has said anything about uh, dwarven But usually ruins. when you go to a place, if there's some weird historic legend, people will mention it. Well, right? well dwarves built into the mountains all the time, right? So maybe there were some terrain at this point in time. <laughs> because, okay. you know, you, well. you have a feeling if the folks of Zerflarge knew about this about this location, yes. they would have been using it well, at some point. Well, though I love finding out about whatever dwarves have been doing, isn't it more important to find out what's in here now? I agree with the druid. Okay. Okay, so what are you so, guys doing? Let's go somewhere else. I can't you're believe I'm a, agreeing with the druid. You are in a very <laughs> large chamber. There's only two places out there. Does the anyone bin. touch the statue of the petrified dwarf? Not yet. Why don't you not touch track it? Are you going to fondle the statue? I'm going to fondle the statue. <laughs> the statue in life, if this truly was a petrified dwarf, was very well endowed. Oh, that's. That's Jim, you always have to take it there. I know. Not my... <laughs> well, the druid it's has left fault. to explore more places. <laughs> yes, because we'll we'll be a large thing. So let's, uh, since the map goes that way, want to go that way or this way? Normally I'd make... I'd just go this way. Well, that's, Isn't you know, that the way we came? You did kind of come from that oh, okay. direction oh, you were so, called. So this oh, way. Yes. I say so that was the corridor over here? Yeah, basically this was... Remember how you took off this direction and you had your little corner that way? So you kind we of think came we had from the other at hallway. least a couple hundred feet that direction. So we should go that way. way. There was okay, that so other hallway. This way? Yeah. The, uh, the, I, his, the, her dungeon the probably would say that, oh. yeah, we would connect with it. If we went that way, we would connect so with So when you get to the it. door, do you guys do anything? Is anyone listening? Or are oh, you just listen. kicking the door open and having Do we have anybody who is good with stealth? I have a plus four in stealth. Listen at the door. I'll also listen. Or I'll help. Or whatever. I rolled a fifteen plus two. That's seventeen. So. Well huh. then, uh, yeah. Let's go with yours. There's no let's check for scrap, trap skill. We discussed this. Oh, yeah. 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 So uh, while you're Otuk is putting her ear to the door, you hear a faint sound. At first, you think it's maybe wind down there. Then all of a sudden, you're hearing. Hi ho. I have a question. Hi -ho. Are these doors normal size? These are normal size doors. Size. Yeah. So it's it's a human to dwarf sized person who made these doors, which are exquisitely crafted from stone, but open up as easy as oh, a yeah, I'm taking out. I'm gonna put my hand it's on the door. It's impressive that the craftsmanship less this. Just open the door. Okay. okay, he's opening the door. Okay, you open he's the bold. door, and as you do, a passage ten foot wide, ten foot high, and huge out of rock runs forty feet ahead. To which we will lift up your box. Oh, sweet. I'm going. I'm going. That is a big room. We'll show that much. Okay. Runs 40 feet down. ahead. A small lantern hangs from a hook in the wall next to the door on the east end, which, by the way, is the far end. Oh, there you go. Open the whole map up. Look if you get this one map. It's empty. Sitting on a wooden stool by the lantern is a balding, beardless old male human in patched and faded trousers and a matching tunic. He is idly whittling a stick and whistling. Can you throw that away, please? Good day to you, sir. When was the last time you had lamb? <gasps> what are you doing here? You shouldn't be here. There was a hole. <laughs> Big one. And obviously we thought that is the perfect reason to enter your home. Actually, we had no idea well, who lives curious. here. Why it looks here? ancient that is and empty. Question. And there's no food down here. You're not from Red Larch. You should leave. You should leave immediately. Why would oh, be you're from Red Larch? I'm from the lands around Red Larch. What are you up to? You're not members? And he, he holds out his hand in a gesture that looks like this. Like a triangle. Have you ever seen this before? Religious check's going to make a religion. Yeah, well, I'm going to do a... Would that be a religion or... Or is that something she would remember? No, it's slightly different. Didn't we already see the symbol earlier in the game? You have seen the symbol. Would this be religion? This would be religion. I got a 16. 
You basically know that this is similar to the cult of Elemental Earth. Yeah, see, I thought we... <gasps> Wait a minute, Elemental Earth. Oh, 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 because I have to find that one mother... And he's looking very apprehensive when you're not responding back with the secret 10 signal. Yeah, we so all sure. do. I'll follow suit. And, and he's looking at you like, here, 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 you're not pulling this And one of us crap. is doing, like, the live long and prosper. And... <laughs> <laughs> the druid will be doing nothing. <laughs> And he basically, you know, take, has his dagger in his hand, and he kind of points with the stick he was whittling and says, Go! You have to go right now! Are you really threatening us with that? Where is this He's person? kind of gesturing yeah, towards you. Are you, he's, like, he's, are you really threatening us with that dagger? <laughs> well, hang on. He might actually be a he's caster. He's sitting right here. Oh, I'm so much. You know... Okay. And you notice he's raising his voice quite loud. You need to go right now if you're not so supposed to be here. So he's alerting his friend. I want, yeah. wait, I want to get back to, really, a dagger. You thought, hey, there's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. I'll use a dagger yeah. to scare them. Really? He's, he's, he's basically saying, you need to go right now. Is that your bet? I, Just, I am brash. I will continue saying this. <laughs> well, see, if you point your character sheet, you help remind me. So there you go. Also, he's just alerting the people behind the door. That's what you're doing? So there's going to be an ambush behind you. Big whoop. You're obviously not the guard. Well, you know, I'm not sure that I want to murder a bunch of people. I don't either, not necessarily. But what is? what the hell is going on here? And why was that sinkhole happening? We were just saying. Sinkhole opened up in the middle of Red Large. Children fell in. What is going on? I want to point out, sinkholes happen normally. Those are things. Well, single. yes, yes, but typically not in the not, middle of town. Not in the middle of town. No, look, to, look at the single that well, happened in Florida. That freaked people out. Yeah. Well, in real life, I, mean, I know when you get big environmental changes like the drought, that yes, can happen. Yes, that can cause. If you get anybody, big... somebody roll nature. Is this a natural thing? So <laughs> three going for dice. Twenty. Ouch. Eighteen. So I ain't gonna roll. The dragon. So, can, okay. Uh, Is this so a dragon born? The dragon starts explaining the what. You believe that some earth tremors set off the, that sinkhole. Not necessarily. So it wasn't somebody natural. doing it. Necessarily. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be something doing something specifically. It was not malicious in, in effect. It seems to be just happenstance. Well, sure, but how frequently in this region have earth tremors happened? The earth, the earth will swallow us all unless you convert now. And he's basically walking towards you guys. As we are underground, I would think that we are already technically swallowed. So this is the, true. I don't know if we're in the intestines or the stomach. Little Codger is, is walking towards you guys with his dagger and his wooden stick that he's been whittling. Well, you seem like a nice gentleman. You know, perhaps you you'd don't. like to tell us a little bit about your religion so that we can make an informed decision. Very good point. It's hard to convert when you don't know anything, isn't it? And he just seems a little confused at that exact moment. Not that I have any I'm intention of conversing. So, so this accident... I'm not a ranger. ranger sitting over there. there. So this <laughs> accident like... happened when we fell into a hole, and this person was not prepared to run out of house. Perhaps we should just go. So, As, what is know, behind that door, sir? That. You cannot go to the sacred room, not the sacred room. Why is it sacred? It's where the sacred stones fly like eagles. Is it like the stone that we just passed? You desecrated the stone room? Yes. yes and he's going to try to stab you. He's got to get through two people, but he can try. No, he's been walking. He's yes. been walking. You guys Maybe are should just tie him up and ask him some more questions. I want to. He's obviously from Red Large, which well, means other people in Red Large, I wouldn't be surprised if they're yeah, so now good. We're, good now sure. we're walking into his home and we're, we're tying him up. Hey, he's, <laughs> he's attacking he's he's going to attack After, after we Solis. told him that we desecrated. Oh, oh, shit! Oh my god! Natural 20 with a freaking dagger? Natural 20 with a freaking dagger. Oh. Well, but if he goes by them her, to get to her, doesn't that he's give been walking around him? Us. But you didn't know he was okay. going to attack. When okay. you were talking. You Jim were is at the head of the table, so I'm going to pretend he's the GM. <laughs> <laughs> Six points of damage as this old codger stabs his dagger right through your breastplate. Oh, my scale mail. Your scale mail. Punch him in the head with my you scale mail. You knock him out. Peller, take sure, you. Go for it. Let's just roll initiative. You. I'm, no, I'm just trying to roll some dual damage and knock him out. Yeah. Uh, so we roll initiative. Well, we pretty much that was an ambush round. So let let go ahead and let the swordsman do his roll real quick. 
Well, it doesn't matter anymore. I rolled a five, so I missed it. Okay, you swing and miss. You slow. I did poorly. Okay, so... I'm in shock. Let's go ahead and roll initiative. Oh. I got the three. Hmm. Apparently, I am in shock from the sudden attack from this vile man. I got the mighty 12. Sudden, and with no forewarning. It wasn't like a crazy man was complaining about how he desecrated his religion and had a knife. Curse your... uh, I'm just saying, if somebody... Curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal. Cassandra, we do this differently. Nine. Yes. Like when we went into the necromancer, twenty. Place, I was cool with that. Ooh. Right. Well, well, natural. We didn't know we were going ball. into a house. Well, I think we should. Apparently, it is a house of worship if we were to believe well, him. Well, we should restrain our because yes. it's not our place. But it's this is place. a dark, vile place, and so, um, priest, if I went to your church and said. I've destroyed the statue of your god, and I'm planning on destroying more of them. Would you not try to restrain me from destroying your god? But we didn't destroy anything. We didn't well, destroy anything. Um, I seem to remember a stone falling down. Okay. Uh, so, Kriv, it is your turn. Well, I don't think we're going to agree. They're, they're just right. into home invasion, I guess. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, oh, it seems to this be is a vi- that is infor- infor- Okay, us. so what can we see that tells us this is a vile place? Uh, he just admitted Remember that they are members corp- of the cult. Remember there was corpses with rats. That was kind of nice. And on top of that, he just said the world will be swallowed. And No. But it didn't no, seem like he said it was his stop plan this. to swallow us. No. It is also my Look, my brat. duty to take down the, uh, uh, what was it? What's we weren't name? here to cause you injury, but now we're going to be causing injury. Would 22 hit him? What are you I'm, hitting him with? I'm not motivated. I'm pulling a fireball out. You're killing him. I thought we were just going to... Okay. I thought we were just going to That would, him that would definitely hit him with, it, with okay. the spell. Well, this, this tells me I'm... I'm well, this, to, this is I'm gonna for being impulsive. So, uh, so we're not going to ask any questions. You guys are, uh, uh, sorry, you guys are welcome to. Who's going to be dead? Um, if anybody has speak with the dead, you can ask him questions. Kriv throws his fireball, and the crazy old man, for a second, you can see his Kriv's hand is... Glowing with the fireball, he his you know, anger in his eyes is flaring. He's unleashing the fireball. Seconds before the fire emulates this old man to, to to a burnt, greasy smear on the floor. He screams, "Don't kill me! Please don't kill me! I just want to live forever! I just want to live forever!" And then he his greasy burnt smear. Sorry, you couldn't articulate more when the fireball was eating his face off. No, as, I think that's a curious thing to say. What's your question? Colts. Oh, what do you think Colts are for people? Life everlasting. Or at least to survive on the Earth's walls. Right. So now the old codger's whittled stick oh, that just singed, and, just and his dagger to clinks to death. the ground. I'm not okay with this, I mean, as, no. as all of you I'm are pretty much back. waft with the smell of burnt flesh mm-hmm. in the air and his dirty Wait, clothes. Broke into someone's home, desecrated their statues, and then killed an old man. I'm falling so back. I'm not into this. Sure. <laughs> Okay, so as, as his body hits the floor with a horrible sound, you hear his scream of his, his last breath echo down the hallway ahead of you guys. As you feel a slight tremor in the earth, just enough to cause dust to come flicking down from the rafters. Uh, do we think that they were in danger of another sinkhole? It, you on don't top believe of us? that this the structure here is very, very secure. Okay. It's basically just dust that you're feeling, and some of the petals, uh, pebbles on the ground are rattling around. It's almost foreboding. Yeah. So what are you guys going to do? It's like... Well, he obviously wasn't a guard. Something bigger in there. He just seemed to be le- le- have been leisurely sitting there whittling on his bench. Like he's waiting for somebody on the other side of the door. I'm going to extract the, je- the uh, dagger from my chest. <laughs> okay, well, he... Side. Okay. It was in his he hand. It's me. not like he left it in you. So the, the dagger's on the floor next to the greasy smear. I'm going to stick some cloth against my wound. Okay, you yeah. go. You can do a medical check or just... I'll do a medical check, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I botched. <laughs> okay, take another point of damage. Uh-huh, so great. she opens the wound up a little bit more. Damn. Okay. So what are you guys going to do? I'll uh, go listen at the door. The next door. Yeah. Okay. And you hear rumbling sound. And then you hear a, like a clinking of rock on rock. 
like two people swinging two rocks on ropes or something. Since you're a dwarf, you recognize that sound of two rocks clinking together. Can I... I think they're just floating around. Can I crack the door and peek in? You can try. Go ahead and give me a stealth. <gasps> Apparently, it's a very squeaky door because she botched. Okay, so you're starting to slowly open the door. And when you slowly open the door, let me flip some paper real quick. You, you, you believe you are being stealth like pure freaking ninja. Mm hmm. This is the sneakiest you have ever been. Oh, yeah, super sneaky. You guys are watching her being super sneaky? <laughs> oh. Will a 21 hit you? Uh, yes. Oh, dear. And as she's being super, super sneaky, she peers in the room. When you look into the room, all of a sudden a mace comes flying out through the cracked door. It hits you in the face. Wow. Aww. For five points of damage. All right. Well, I was already down from before, apparently. So I wish to I'm going you know to. Don't, I will heal you. As all of a sudden, you guys see her go, and she puts her face in the door, the crack of the door. She opens it up, and when she does, it's it's you hear this horrible bell ringing sound. So what you do see, by the way, when you when you before the moment, hits before you. the stars start spinning in your eyes is an enormous chamber with, 20, uh, with a 20-foot ceiling that has been carved out of the rock. A lighted lantern rests on the floor near the center of the room, an odd array of stone monoliths, some upright standing stones, and others arranged in three-inch ar arches stand around the tape chamber. Six low stone slabs are set against the walls along the perimeter of the room. Each holds humanoid bones dressed in scraps of tattered cloth and rusted iron. And by the way, here's a picture you'd like to see. The stones are floating Ooh. off the ground. Wait, ah. So where are the skeletons? So Their the bodies are basically here. arranged in little alcoves cut into the stones. Oh, okay. Wait, into the floating wait, wait, stones? Into, into the bodies? floating stones. And some of the stones are, are on the ground. But you see the stones are just like slowly kind of drifting and occasionally clink together. Then they settle, occasionally they're like settling. So, so these poker chips are the stones, by the way. And Otook just got her head bonged. So let's go ahead and roll initiative. And do you guys want to move closer to her, by the yes. way? Or are you going to stay across that hallway? Yeah, we're going to move closer. Mm -hmm. So, Crib, what you got? 19. Otook. Uh, ten. Sister Solace? Five. Talon? Twenty-one. Dang. Silvio? Uh, four, seven. Seven? Cassandros? Twenty. Ooh. Damn. Crib? Hmm? Oh, nineteen. I oh, sorry, nineteen. Yeah, I already got you. Right down. Total hit points. Uh, I have a total of seventeen, but currently I'm at seven. seven. Oh, hey, what a coincidence! I think that's exactly. I'm at uh, I'm at seventeen, I think, but I'm at I'm actually at ten. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, we'll we'll use the heal on you. Great, thank you. <laughs> As she just pulls her head back. Ow. Okay, so Talon, what are you going to do? Um, in more range. I can't. If the door isn't open enough, can I the see The door wasn't open enough that you can't see anything. She was being really sneaky and just opening it just enough to stick her head through and look. And just about the same size that a mace would take to swing in there and hit the head that was looking through. She was um, very sneaky, though. One, you know, one happens. Yes. Can I hold action until I see someone make an aggressive action against our party again when I actually see them? You can, but that's a very dangerous hold action because if you don't see anything, you're just you're getting and skipped just doing this nothing. Return. That's true. Um, 
Do you want to hold action until the door is open? The door isn't fully open then? No, no. Okay. I'll hold an action until the door is open. Well, what is the specific action you're holding for? That's When you do hold action, you got to specifically say, I will do this okay. when this happens. Okay. If the door, when the door opens, and if I see someone attack okay. us, I will shoot them. Okay. All right, so it is Cassandra's turn. So I guess the only choice is to go through the door. Open yep. the door. So yes. Okay. He's brash. So go ahead and move. Your sh- take your move. That's that's, me. that's the the dragonborn. He's the little this green one. guy, the druid. Okay. So how, is that good enough for you going in the room? You're just stepping in just um, there. Um, could you like imagine more like jumping through the door? Yes, but no. okay. If like now, the door hits the guy. If you're going to that square, he will get an attack of opportunity on you. Okay. Is there any square where he will? He's right here on the other side of the door. If you go right there, he won't get an attack of opportunity. You can still take your attack. If you go here, he's getting an attack as soon as you step away from his square of threat. Well, then I'll do I'll do the one where I don't get attacked. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you can attack him. You see this thug, he's sitting there, he's got a little club. You see, he definitely seems to be wearing just leather armor. He doesn't look like a, a big fighter, but he looks like a big, tough guy. And I will... Well, we know that he and is you see, tough because he... You see on his hip, he's got a clay mask. I will go bear. You, you're going bear form? Uh-huh. Okay, what does... Do you, do you need one of the books? I got, I got it right now. What does it take to do a bear's that well, action? Well, one today, it's an action... Okay. Twice a day, it's an action. Yep. Okay, so you're turning into bear? Yes. Okay. How long I'll, does the bear form last? Uh, as long I think as it's you half or... of your current level in hours, so one hour for me. Okay. So basically, he's running through the door and turning into a bear just as soon as he sees the thug. Dang. In fact, I feel like I'm running, turning into bear with like. Leaping kind of through oh, the door. Like okay. that metamorphosis. Oh, and then you're, you're jumping, you run, 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 turn into bear. Okay. Very impressive. So, Kriv, it is your turn. From my perspective, could I see that this guy was here when he opened the door? When he From opened the door, here? you can sense there's something on the other side of the door. So, I'm going to go here and I'm going to uh, try to open the door against him. Are you going to do a strength check shot? against him? Try to push I him? I guess which, I haven't seen him yet. I'm, which I'm doing pretty terribly at. Okay. But, given my d20 rolls, nope. Ooh. So I try to open the door and it just kind of... Okay, you try to shove the, the door and all of a sudden the door just kind of like locks in place. Must be a stray pebble in its way. Okay, so... You hear some, some echoey sounds in there. No one shall desiccate this place. Desiccate? When people are in your temple, it's desiccation. Desecrate. 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 Occasionally it's desiccation, too. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I took some last time. It's because she got some last time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, someone's doing something. And... It is Otuk's turn. All right. Um, I am pretty banged up at the moment. <laughs> you could step in. You do have enough movement that you could step in and around the guy if you want to flank him with the bear. But that would put you out of sight of the cleric. Yeah, I think I'm going to um, sidle next to the cleric instead. Okay. Look at her beseechingly. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're going to do a uh, guarded step back yeah. so no attacks of opportunity can happen and right. give it to the cleric saying, help me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it is Silvio's turn. Uh, can I step in? Where's the bear? He's the bear right, is right there. there. Okay. Then I'm there. Where's the nearest guy? The guy is right this there. Is the guy behind the door. Right. So, so yeah. And as long as you're not leaving your uh, area around him, you can go completely around him if you want to yeah, flank him. That. Flank okay. Him. Ooh, yeah, so basically, cool. Silvio is, is quickly moving in. He has his sword at the wet, ready, and he's zipped around behind this gentleman who just smashes okay, the monk in the so face. Okay, so 14. That will hit. Uh, Woohoo. I'll use my reaction to increase my AC. Okay. Uh, four, seven points of damage. 
Woohoo! Seven points of damage. Okay, you stab him with the sword. He is still fighting on, though. He is a tough guy. They, they, they grow, raise them big where he comes from. Uh-huh. Okay, so... But he's human, though, right? He's, are you going to do any of your... Uh, oh, wait. This was... This must be notes from last time. Cult of the Black Earth Destruction Through Sinkholes? Mm. Yes. Okay. So we'd already figured out that this was... Yeah. No, I think we assumed. So, because... Yeah, okay. no, I get it, because I wrote it down, too. So we discovered it from the last room. No, okay. I think from the original cavern. Uh, yeah, it's possible. I mean, wh- wherever we learned it. It's... Which, of course, I the, yeah, because yeah. I was sent here by my order to destroy the Earth Prophet Marlos. Because mm-hmm. he's, dist- yeah. he's working on destroying the world. Mm-hmm. And he's a... a... Yes. Gargo- a uh, gorgon? A gorgon, yeah. From your, your That's dream? right. Oh my god, from my dream. Oh my god. Oh, you you, five yes. That's right. You, you, you so this was this is this is my purpose for being here. You remember he is a gorgon. Yes, I just now remembered apparently. Maybe he's a now. Yeah, I was like, well, we <laughs> well, no, I told you I told you that my, my, my purpose here is to destroy the Earth Prophet Marlos. But okay. we forgot. So that. it's it's as, a, as a bit of retcon. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. I, I, told the, I told the priest. The yes, priest, you told the priest. Told the priest. You guys were they were drinking this? when that was happening. Yeah, they were okay, so the thug's going to swing on the bear. Okay. Just because you try. It's, it's a freaking bear. I mean, Brown would do it. AC's 11. And bear corn? Wow. Yeah. 12. Oh, come on. He's gonna hit you for, for five points of damage with his mace. HP is 34, so. <laughs> That's right. And it doesn't seem to do Dang. much to a bear. Wow. You can hit a bear because it's as big as a bear. Fortunately, it's as dense as a bear. Alright. And he's not gonna really move because he's kinda. Stuck. Stuck there, yeah. He pretty much can't go anywhere. But you know what? Actually, move him one square this direction so he's not being. Flanked. He's not going to give an attack of opportunity, but he's not being flanked at the moment. At least until they move. Yeah. And then make more room for people to come in the door. Okay. But can I see him now? Uh, no, you still can't because okay. he's blocking the door. That's the problem with being in that spot. So, Sister Solace. I am going to uh, heal the monk. Did you heal yourself or are you still down? Huh? Did you she did not. No, I did not heal myself. As a matter of fact, I made myself worse. She's <laughs> suffering. Her wounds are for your saving. <laughs> so, okay. So, let's see here. Saving it's a... Uh, for the rest of us. A one... Oh, no. I'm doing this one. Uh, hold on. Uh, okay. So, 1d8 plus my spellcasting modifier. Okay. So, you get seven points back. Yay. Thank you. So that's a good healthy amount. Mm-hmm. Okay, so anything else? Because that was a. Um, the. I am going to. Uh, no, no, that is a. Uh, full action. That's a full action, but I do have. Uh, hold on, I'm going to do. Uh, let's see here. I have to touch them there. Um, hold on. I should have brought my cards. Okay. Makes it a little bit easier. Um, uh, no, because the other things are, I have to touch them for my minor actions. So. Okay, so you're good? Yes, I'm okay, good. Okay, back to the top of the order. So, Talon, it is your turn. I get, is there room for me to enter? Because at this point, wait. You can enter, not... or if you'd like, see that square just adjacent to the door? If you stand in that doorway, you can you can see him now around the corner. Okay. Okay. All right. Then I will fire. Oh. And she's going to miss. Maybe. Maybe not. Roll the one. Okay. Oh, one? You uh, roll the one. The bear. You roll no, the one. Hey, it doesn't mean I necessarily hit anyone. Give me a d20 roll real quick. Let's see if you hit the big bear. One again. Crapola. Didn't get past that. I'm terrible. I'm absolutely terrible. I keep shooting my Roll for damage. Numbers. I think we should. Well, I think, no, no. She should have to. 
Roll against his AC. She rolled two ones in a row. I feel like that's rolling two twenties in a row. She's trying yeah. to shoot me. <laughs> Ten points of damage. The bear gets hit in the front flank because he's so close fighting this guy that the arrow. Gets... I'm so terrible. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I keep shooting my Carrie? own party members. Carrie, pick up your D20. Love your D20. <laughs> if it gives you two ones in a row, you have ignored it for far oh. too long. Give your D20 some love. That's okay. going to help. I keep doing this. Well, I'm so sorry. sorry. Maybe you shouldn't be a ranger. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. An arrow so sorry. zings into your side. I don't need to and do it. And what would you like to do as you're hearing this apology? Well, what I would like to do is different with that one. What shall you be doing? I will be doing bite claw. Ooh. Or claw bite. Bite claw. Okay. Claw bite. bite claw. So, the bite. Is it bite claw or is it claw claw bite? I think it's bite claw. Bite claw claw, maybe. What does it say? Me. I thought you had it written down. I do have it written down. What does it say? I think it's bite claw. Yeah. Bite claw? Okay. So, is it one of those if you make your bite, you can then attempt a claw? or? Oh, no. I just have it written down bite claw. Multi attack. Bite claw. Carry it because you pledged out of it. As in, kind of physically see the book? I'm not going to read your page. Bite claw. I'm saving your page. Bookmark your page for your adorable little brown bear or black bear. Black bear. It is uh, bear makes two attacks: one with its bite, one with its claws. Back off. Okay. Yep. So go ahead and roll for your. I'm going to spend an advantage because I don't want to attack my friends. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just want to point out, you did way more damage than he did. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you did double. I'm so well, she's sorry. really good at what she does, so go ahead. Yes. Are you rolling for your bite? No, when I'm trying to actually bite. kill somebody okay. I want to kill. Or even wound. It's, it's your natural ranger instincts. You no, saw a bear. A you shoot the bear. Uh, yeah. A natural 23. That will definitely hit. Yeah. As the bear is spinning to maul this guy. Five damage. Okay. And then claw. Does the the advantage doesn't go with both? Uh, no, it's only for your first roll. And now comes the, cl- the mm-hmm. claw to finish him off. Right? Oh, a natural twenty-four. That will hit. Woo! Fifteen. Fifteen damage. Wow. Wow. Make okay, he's dead. No, no, he's dead for all of the damage you've taken. No, no, that doesn't make up for the damage. I'm so sorry. Funny enough, I did take 50 damage. <laughs> the bear bit and then guts this guy. He's still barely clinging on. Are you kidding? He's dropping to a knee at this point, clutching his mace as a, as a cane. Can I see the book? Because I think I can spend a this spell book? slot to heal. You, you can't actually spend a spell slot to heal. Which I will have to. Okay, so he is dropping to his knee. And Kriv, what are you going to do? This is the bookmarker. Yeah. I don't want to block uh, anyone. And there's a bear there. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until I hear this guy fall over, and then I'm gonna open the door. So 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 waiting for the sound of him. Him Ooh. falling to the ground uh, and then he drops to the knee, opening and then opening the door. Okay, so you're opening the door. Okay, so the door's open. Silvio's being kind of blocked by the door, but you see he can still easily attack around the door. Okay, so you see the you see the room, the moving stones, the guys on the ground with blood just splattered on the ground in front of him. Bears is there, claws. Is there any light back here, or is it the, all there, dark? This is actually lit up with with scattered scones, so there, there is enough light that you can see around. But there's tons of shadows being cast around here. All right. Um, so currently nothing else, but we heard somebody from within the temple. You heard someone yeah. else besides this guy. Oh, right. we did. Someone else. No, no, yeah. someone else. The words well, echoed. I'm thinking it might be the Earth Prophet himself. So we're not going to have any more sinkholes in Red Larch, are we? Oh, and I'm going to prepare to firebolt whoever that. comes out of the shadows. Whoever comes out of the shadows? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, not of our party, of course. <laughs> of course. Okay. So you've got a 
Firebolt prepared. Mm -hmm. Getting ready? Yes. Not at our party. <laughs> not at our party. I'm sorry. Okay, and... I can still roll along. You can. No, 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 don't, don't even talk. Okay. Don't, don't even joke about that. So, all of a sudden, and yes, you'll get your attack. Let's see. Oh. I just thought the stones are kind of like chairs. Yes. The what's are? The stones. Oh, yeah. All of a sudden, from around this corner, a gentleman wearing cleric robes of earth and gray with clay that you can tell has been rubbed into his le his armor, mm -hmm. so it looks like it's stonish, steps around the corner. The black earth shall swallow you, and he begins to cast a spell. And what species is this man? He is a he. Well, you can't really see through his garb, but so go ahead and cast yours. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen. That goes flying off and just barely misses him. Oh. It it basically your firebolt goes off and just swaths off his earth armor. Okay. You dusted him. You never attack an earth type with fire. Oh, that's just love. I have I have other ways. And all of a sudden you bake it and make clay. <laughs> all of a sudden you feel in your midst. Right here, where the ranger is, there's an ear-splittering tone that sounds almost like someone hitting a tuning fork, like a fan. but it's an insanely loud one that literally reverberates through your body. Everyone give me a constitution save as he casts Shatter. 13. Uh, 17. 10. 17. Three. Five. Okay. Ten and three. So and you, five. And five. So you three did not save. Uh-huh. Ouch. Oh dear, am I dying going to die? <laughs> oh no, it's your it's your moment of glory. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, you might die. But only Fifteen a points bit. of damage for those who did not save. I died. I'm dead. Well you're at zero. Well, you're zero. At zero. You're at yeah. zero. Hey, you said some of yours. Seven <laughs> points for those who did save. How many? Oh, seven. seven points. As, by the way, the guy who's on the ground, he Jeez, falls Jesus. over dead. That's so good. How many, uh, how many bonus oh, actions do you get? Right. What? How many bonus actions do you get? One. One bonus action. Can I convert my action to a bonus action? What? Like, could I, instead of taking an action, could I take two bonus actions? No. no you're, you're only allowed one bonus <clears throat> action per turn. Okay. My light has been extinguished. Only temporarily. Only temporarily. Because after all, I think the druid's got some healing spells too. Just for me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. And that is his turn. It is Otuk's turn. Right. I'm next to the fallen cleric. Mm -hmm. Is there anything I can do to try and help her uh, do you have medicine the medicine I do I have plus two to medicine okay as you see her fall stricken okay do you have any bennies <laughs> no I wish I don't <laughs> she trained at the monastery for medicine uh, 11 it's 10 is all you needed to stay. She's got you stabilized. Okay, so I, I no longer... You won't have to make I won't have to do saves. that saving throws. Yeah, you're, you're stabilized. Okay. We don't have any potions of healing, do we? No, we do not mm. appear to. You don't? I don't think we do. Didn't you have two of them from, or did you use them? Uh, I haven't used any. If I had two... Did we, I, in the t in the tunnel with the necromancer, I think we used one of the two that you guys had access to. I said because I don't have them on my sheet. I don't have them on my sheet. Okay. So somebody else must have them. On. I, just, okay. I don't think I ever wrote them on my sheet. So I think somebody else took them if we had them. Okay. Oh, where's my note? Maybe. Did the healer take them? Why would I take them? Okay, Silvio, it is your turn. I'll move over to that guy. Okay. What's your speed? So that's one. Yep. Okay. You can get up to him, okay. but you can't attack. 
Unless you have a bonus action. I use my bonus action to attack. Okay, so you're using your bonus action to attack. My you? action surge, sorry. Yeah, so, action surge. Yeah, which is a bonus action for you. Yeah. Silvio. Silvio. Uh, probably gonna miss. Uh, yeah, Sylvia needs a theme song. Fourteen. Uh, fourteen actually skitters off of his oh. his plate oh. armor. Okay. But Silvio is right in his face, which is gonna make his casting a little little painful. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So six. The thug who is dead. And we have That's Sister Sullis, who is look. stabilized, but still out at the moment. So then there's nothing I can do. I don't have to roll a saving throw. You right? don't have to roll a saving throw, yeah. We just need to get okay. you back on your feet. Yes, if I can wake up, I can heal myself, but... <laughs> okay. So, back to the top of the order. I may be speaking with Peller sooner than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> She's having a near-death experience. More visions, more visions more of visions. The, the cult of the Black Earth. So, Talon, it is your turn. Okay, I'm going to step forward, okay. and I'm going to um, put on my Hunter's Mark. Okay. On, what does that do? You're casting your spell? Yes. It's a bonus uh, it's action, a, I believe? It is a bonus action, and it goes, you choose a creature you can see within range, and mystically mark it as your quarry. Until the spell ends, you deal an extra 1d6 damage on the target whenever you hit with a weapon attack, and you have an advantage of wisdom, uh, either wisdom or perception, wisdom or survival, check to make if, if, if to, to find it. If the target drops below zero uh, hit points, I can switch it to another target. Okay. <clears throat> and what are you going to do for your action? I'm going to invoke <laughs> Benny. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to uh, fire on him. Okay. Go for it. <laughs> Making a flat surface Make as possible. Making a flat surface. <laughs> she got two fours. It's, it's better than it could be. You, you continue <gasps> loving the nice. dice. Continue loving the dice. Love them. Warm them up. As your arrow streaks out and hits one of the moving stones that must have just moved in at the wrong moment. And now it's and the shattered, arrow shatters. And the stone is like twirling, twirling and pirouetting away. And now I have an idea. And we open up an amusement park. <laughs> there you go. Spinning stone. You have kids sit on the rocks. Well, Apparently I cannot hold it. Okay, Cassandra, it is your turn. Well, on my bonus action, I will be using one of my spell slots to heal 1d8. Okay. Just so you know, that is the healing spell. Right, but you didn't take in your in your spell group. You didn't take any spells to heal. Uh, no. Oh, okay. So five. Next uh, morning, you think about it. It wouldn't hurt to probably. Have five mm. <laughs> I will uh, move my. He's 40. a focused shaman. Up okay. Go ahead and move him forty, if you would please. Where? Uh, Towards it. Count count your squares. Ten, twenty, thirty. <laughs> Okay, so the bear is charging across the room. Okay. And it is Kriv's turn. Two spells in a round. Expeditious Retreat. Ooh. 10, which allows 20, him to dash. Basically, it's a bonus action 30. spell that lets him dash. Mm -hmm. An Expeditious Retreat towards the end. I was going to say, it's not a retreat then, is it? Coming up here, and then... Well, remember, like he said, when he was taking it, he wasn't going to be using it to run away. Yeah, I know. I, I should be re, re, renaming it on my sheet. And we will be uh, attempting to get witch bolt on him. Witch bolt. Lightning Ooh. strikes the earth all the time. How's a 22 for you? 22 will hit. Okay. And then we have the poor and neglected. Ten. Ten points. Mm. And I'll be doing that for the next ten rounds. Ooh. Wow. What? So what does That's that spell impressive. do? Concentration up to a minute. Okay. So At each minute I maintain the link. Uh, it's uh, <clears throat> I, can, I roll the damage. Auto okay. Hit. Awesome. Wow. What's the range okay. on that? Thirty. Okay. That's good to know. Okay. So that was Crib's turn. It is the priest's turn. But he should make an arcana check to realize that the range is 30. Well, no, he's just going to get away from Silvio's, his plan. The big scary guy with the sword. Kind of scary. 
Crow I didn't the mention his The bear dick. that's charging across the room. Oh. I think the He's lightning, lightning did a lot more damage to him than my miss. But being a priest with a melee guy oh, right next to you. Away from the mage. So he's actually, for his turn, he's going to disengage. Doesn't even see. And he's going to use Expeditious Retreat. <laughs> Wait, but if he backs up from him, doesn't that give him the attack? He disengaged. That's oh, just, that was his first thing. Yeah. Okay, I see. Like in World of Warcraft. Wow, he can move fast. Well, he used what? the spell plus yeah. his move. Basically, he did the same thing Kriv did, but in a <laughs> retreat fashion. And basically, instead of taking an attack, he ran away like a little girly priest. Reverse Expeditious Retreat. <laughs> Okay, so that was his turn. And there wasn't enough of you guys close enough for him to justify doing uh, an attack instead of just running. And it is Otuk's turn. Well, I'm very distressed that he hurt my friend. And apparently he's caught in sinkholes and he's an evil meanie head. So um, I really don't have any choice except to run in with my ladle of doom. Okay. <laughs> So Where am I taking you? Uh, 70 towards him. And these are how many? Five. So, 70, or so five. 10, 20, uh, 35, 40, 45, 50, 60, 60. Wow. Yeah. Otuk is flying across the room with her ladle swinging in the air. Yes. For my friends. Right. I, I think that's all I can do. Takes you just one square away from him, which is making him wonder, shit, my retreat didn't work too well. Tactics okay. Bitch. Okay, Silvio, it is your turn. The coward has run away from you. Uh, he's too far he, to get He's on. over here now. I guess I'll do the same thing and try to get to him. Okay. Now, are you going to go in a straight line towards him or are you going to try spreading out? I'll like, go in a straight line. Okay. We can't go through the stone, right? Yeah, got to go around the stone. Around the, so. 10, 20, or no, sorry, 15, 20. 25, are, are we doing one it's, and a half? It's diagonals or just one. Oh, well, yeah, shit. We, yeah. not doing the through Well, then she could attack. No, I, I yeah. She used no, her he move counted. and her Yeah, I counted as if the, oh. each second diagonal was extra, so she, oh. she's right up on him and she can attack. When I, when it's my when turn, turn, I use both of my actions to... Get close yeah. enough. Oh, your speed's only 35. Right. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, only, only 30. Yeah. 35. Oh, it's 35. Oh, that's right. The boots, right? Yes. yes. Something. So 10. Something 15, makes 20, me fast. 5, 30. That's you at one action. Oh, Do you want to run behind him? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay. Ooh, his retreat. Now, I use my action <laughs> surge, so I'm done, right? I can't do anything. Yeah, yeah, you only get one of those until you take a, sh- a, a rest. Got it. All right. So, Silvio. And it is Sister Celis' turn to be Am I awake? You're, you're at zero, so you're, no. you're, you're still down. Okay, so back to the top of the order. Talon, it is your turn. Oh. Fighting again. Well, we don't have well, any you advantage. Need to move. You're going to have to move to see him. Because there's rocks in the way. Is that good for you, or you want to move closer or at a different angle? Fine. Okay. I won't be in an angle. It. Okay. It's almost like <laughs> he wants to shoot anybody. It's almost like he wants to use the rocks to not get shot in a straight line. I don't want to shoot. I want to shoot him. Okay. Well. And uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Right. Should hit, but he's going to go ahead and activate the shield spell, which is a reaction, which will give him plus five AC to your attack, which causes this shield to pop up and your arrow to shatter on the shield. I finally hit, and oh <laughs> man! You went over his AC. Hey, it shield be worse. is you plus be five to AC, and you see this like magical stone shield come up and dissolve, and the shield's floating around him at the, at the moment. It's fluttering around. It's got a little reaction. Mm-hmm. When I finally have hundred, I still have a hunter's mark on him. I could actually, actually cause some more no, damage. No, I, I, I stole Crib's thunder. He's not moving away ah. from the, the Sith Lord. <laughs> Speaking uh, of Sith Lord. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Okay. Cassandra. I will move to the right. So if you try to move. Ah. Okay, so, so. 
Where are you going? What's right. your speed? Uh, yeah, 40. So, two, three, four, Not five, right. six, seven. What, you're going this way, right? I was or going that way, so if you move, I can get Yeah, oh, so okay. that's so that's your 40. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. That good? Great. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any, did it require two, two actions? Uh, my speed is 40, so. so oh, no, so you no, it's fast. Yeah. You it's your attack. turn. Yeah. You're right there with him. I am a bear. Attack. You he are is a bear. bear. Go ahead and give me a strike. That he does have that good. shield still up, so it is helping his AC. Well, I mean, it's no <gasps> harm. Oh. Hey, dude, you got two attacks. Use them. Uh, break that what, unnatural 24. Woohoo! That'll hit. All right, we're... So ten damage. Yeah. I think an eight will hit. Eight, your 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 bite just snaps, and that magical shield just bashes your bite away. Or no, that was the claw. That was the claw. Okay, your claw just skitters off the the magical shield. Damn magical shield. It only lasts for one round, so... What only yeah. lasts for one round? The shield. shield. Are you reading the spells? Yes. I have Shield of Faith. Shield is right before it, alphabetically. <laughs> <laughs> While you're sleeping in the hallway, you're remembering, if only I had the shield spell. <laughs> okay, so, Kriv, it is your turn. Uh, so I can't concentrate on the Witch Bolt, so I'm concentrating on Expeditious Retreat. Okay. Coming up... Count that right. Back here, one. back one. One towards you. Toward, there you go. Yeah. Okay. So two, four, six, two. Yep. I can get up to him. And uh, casting witch bolt, or not witch bolt, uh, shotgun grasp, because witch bolt is not going. Okay. Mm-hmm. Damn, he is surrounded. <gasps> yeah, well, that's mostly the point of me coming up here. Uh, that will not hit, but I do. I'm. I have my staff in the other hand, and when the shocking grasp fails, I'll just bring that up so I can smack him if he tries to retreat. Okay. He'll probably just try and kill us all now that we're around him. Yes, it, we're in fireball happen. formation. These, these things happen. <laughs> what do you think would happen if I was in this situation, right? <laughs> Thunder wave. I'll okay. definitely avoid my area effect. <laughs> yes. Okay, so in this situation, he realizes he's up shit creek. Without and a paddle. He is very glad this is not 3.5 <coughs> that provides attack of opportunity when you cast a spell. <laughs> He's going to cast Earth Tremor, but not at first level strength. He's going to crank it up and use one of his second level slots to use Whoa. Earth Tremor. Basically, he stomps his foot on the ground. <clears throat> and in a 10 foot radius around him, there's going to be a shockwave that spreads out from him. So, everyone around him, mm-hmm. all four of you, give me a deck save. What is dex as big? Gone. Oh. I did not no. save. 14. 18. Ooh, the bears. The bear and the sorcerer managed to jump up and make their save. The other two of you do not make it. So are they prone or do they take... They're going to be taking a little damage from falling on their butts as well as being prone. Yeah, 10 points. That's not a little percent. damage. Well, that's why he cranked it up to a second level spell. I am down. I've done too. And you're b- both prone. Yep, so I will not make a death save. Oh, well, no, on your turn. You don't have to do it until you're on your turn. Okay, so that was his turn, and he's not going to risk an attack of shield. opportunity. It won't last. Yeah. Well, it's, it, yeah, it's gone this turn. Yeah, the shield, at, at the end of his turn, it dissipated. So it's gone. So he's debating whether he should risk an attack of opportunity with a bear, though. A bear. One should not risk an attack of opportunity with a bear. I think he should. Yeah, really. Being flanked or being flanked by a bear and a dragon that shoots It's lightning. not like he's going to be able to step over. And he knows I'm, either. I've got him in my sights as well. Yeah, that's true. You know, he's going to he is going to risk the attack of opportunity. He was hoping that that would take all of you guys down prone so he could escape. He is going to risk the attack of opportunity. If well, to Kriv, be fair, the bear is on four legs yes. and is much more sturdy, stable. Yeah. Kriv and Cassandros, give me a basic attack for attack of opportunity. We get a bonus because lightning. 
you, it's oh right you, yeah. you get advantage for it yeah because you are flanking him is this claw or bite or can i choose 15. okay the the, the sorcerer slams his staff which a natural 21. Ooh, your hit will yes. hit but the sorcerer's blo- staff bounces off his armor and that would have been claw Seven damage. Seven damage? Seven. Okay, so he's gonna take his licks and move this way. Then that's all he can do is he's gonna So he's now over here. Yeah, and you see some blood weeping out of his armor, taking that gray clay and he's splattering it on the floor. I mean, we've taken heavy losses. We could just We're retreat damage, yeah. and heal them. Yeah. He's obviously retreating. So it is Otuk's turn. Well, go ahead and give me a death save. save. I save. Yes. Yeah. You save pretty good. <sighs> okay. So it is Silvio's turn. I'll make a death save. Don't make it. Okay. So one of, mark one of the circles. In case okay, Sylvia is not doing well. And it is Sister Saldus' turn. You're stable. I'm like, I'm Okay, back to the top of the order. Talon, it is your turn. Are you going to run to your companion's aid or take a shot? You should take out the aggressor, I think. Well, I don't think a shot can take him out. Yeah, I... And And doesn't shield go down on his turn? She, well, she'll she'll went down down yeah. oh, shield went yeah. down after his turn. I thought she'd down at the end of his turn. At the end of his so turn. So you guys want to cast it. I can try, but it, I, I don't think we'll kill him. What spells do you have? I already, I use, I, I have, actually, I, I have uh, one spell left. Hail of Thorns. The next time I hit a creature with ranged weapon tech before the spell ends, this spell creates a rain of thorns that sprouts from the ranged weapon or ammunition. In addition to the normal effect of the attack, the target will take the attack, uh, and each creature within it five feet must take a dexterity saving throw. A creature that it takes 1d10 piercing damage on a failed save, okay, or so half as much an on a successful one. Basically, sort of like he used on you guys with Shatter, but a ranger version. Okay, so what are you going to do? And that's a good time to wrap it up. Oh. <laughs> I'm a jerk. I'll give you a few seconds to plan, and we'll come back shortly. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition, a member of the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And remember, be careful out there. There be dragons about. Quench my thirst. My horrible, horrible thirst. Yeah, you know... Would probably do some pretty heinous things to survive, but I would do them with my friends. To your friends. See, hey, it's, just, it's yeah, always good to have your zombie you have five because no, 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 at some wait, point. Wait, wait, wait. What's the password? password? She doesn't have to say the password. I've known her for a long time. I thought time. the password is swordfish. No one open sword sesame. Oh, open I mean, it could be your sesame. sister. Don't forget. Wait, wait. That's the password just against the password. Now you got to tell the real password. Now you need your third Windows login. Oh, that sounds right. No, no. Windows 10. No password needed. <laughs> we have and then an they upgraded. just absorb back up all your uh, data. I have an upgraded. The and then they start sending you the ads. Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. So why don't we just... Yep. I was done. Yep. <laughs> First week you changed the alarm and forgot it and remembered a new one. I'm evil. I suddenly know a language. <laughs> <laughs> I know a language. The language? Bitches, bitches be.
Something. <laughs> well, so, dude, think about it. Remember back in first edition when there yes. was an in- evil and a good language? Yes. Wow. Really it was, yeah. But what's weird oh is if you changed the alignments, you immediately forgot the first one and remembered the second one. It's like, dude, uh, I lost my freaking membership card and I forgot how to talk to you guys. Also, Sorry. there was no way to say it unless you were, or even copy it unless you weren't from the, that alignment. Yep. In the, uh, in the Outwork role playing game, which is made by the same people that did Call of Cthulhu, you basically pick law or chaos, and literally, when you pick either side, like stuff's going to happen to you, and it might not be good. Like law, you never miss, but if you decide to do something unlawful, suddenly, like, like, like you miss all the time now. Or chaos, like, we yeah, you character? get cool powers, but you also have a yeah. tentacle. We're missing one. Who are we missing? We're missing mm-hmm. Gary. We're missing Gary. Gary. Yeah. We need Gary, yes. Well, I, I was probably, you guys all went in there, and I was probably, like, just hanging Just out. like, yeah. You were just you tired. Do you have the dashing pirate? Like a rogue kind uh, of character. Uh, like, we don't we have, have a dashing pirate yet, but I was actually thinking going and buying one off the wall there. So did we want to use... I, I don't care. I will use that. This is the theory of imagination. Yes. Okay. Yeah. As long as we know that's me, that's me. That's, I, I, that's always I've been, been realizing something. I'm also in, in character. My character has done very little druid stuff. I know. Yeah. Like we, if you just walked up to him, like, he's obviously a rogue or a warrior or something. Okay. Okay. Let's just stab him. Okay. So, <laughs> so I believe. Stab, this, stab party 2K15. I believe. He's, steal my joke. he's a murdering hobo. <laughs> he's, he's a murdering hobo. He's a murdering hobo. I am not a murdering kobold. Yeah, you I are. have to remember how to sound Irish. <laughs> and then all of a sudden so they look at you say, no, Who no, do you tell me? Do you detect my dead Diplo character? In the next combat, I we do. can have you See, hit on the head. The next <laughs> combat, you can be hit on the head, and then you'll have a new accent. That actually right. happens in, case, in real life. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, it does. There was that dude where, like, he had amnesia, and he would only speak in, like, um, Swedish, yes. and they found out eventually that he'd been in the SCA. Yeah, he wasn't Swedish. <laughs> he wasn't Swedish, but his SCA character was yeah. Swedish. And he picked up enough, yeah. And, and then cool. there was the one guy with the yes. brain surgery mishap, and he came out, and he used to be this great, amazing, dynamic character and, and awesome in bed, and then his wife had, you know, spent years trying to direct him because he forgot. <laughs> well, well, and there is actual medical condition where somebody will talk in an accent, yeah. that they don't realize it. They have no clue that they're speaking in an accent. It's like really, really rare. Have you ever met British people? <laughs> 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 they're like, I, I don't have an accent. accent. <laughs> but I'm like, you probably have an That's accent. That's brilliant. <laughs> yeah. I right. love how Smashing they say that. that. I Smashing. love when I, when I used to support a, a site in the, in the UK, and I love that site. I'm sorry, they were awesome. Uh, they were in Newcastle. So uh, they would always say brilliant, you know, and I'm like, I started p- picking that up and so awesome. I'd say brilliant. Uh, I missed that okay. joke. Awesome. Anybody need any books, by the way? Players got your other oh, yeah. books. Oh, actually. Does I mean, arrange your spell deck or? Yeah, no, we don't have one. Because no. I do believe there's one for purchase at these stores. You'd like to purchase one? Do you like that? Darn it. Yes. I didn't put my spells back in my bag. Uh, you did. But I have my my photocopies. Oh, good. So awesome. I'm good. Pass that to Carrie then so she has access to her spells because she now has spells. I have two spells. I really Ooh. gotta take all these bookmarks out. Because I don't think, oh, yeah, I didn't. Uh, Does anyone need pencils? I nope. actually have pencils. That's crazy today. And wow, dice. Everybody has dice, dice and pencils. It's insane. It's insane. <laughs> it's it's insane. insane. Oh, it's just it's if there's ever an emergency and you need jazz, he's here. <laughs> I come here at weird times and he's here. And I'm like, how does he know I'm coming? I was here at midnight last night and he wasn't here. No. It wasn't? Oh, we doing yeah, no. Oh, we were playing what Star was Wars. he doing here at midnight? Star Wars clone <laughs> saga. He has a Friday night group that he does. We're, Whoa. we're, we're trying to do like a bi-weekly Friday Better group. than us. No, 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 they're my good workers. Different. They're, oh, they're you guys different. Watch Agents of Shield. Yeah, I love how Joss Whedon puts all his old characters in every show. Yeah, they're, they're friends in real life. Uh-huh. They hang out at his house and do like plays oh. and stuff like that. But like somebody will show up and like that's what's her name from Buffy. Yeah. Like, ah. yeah. Joss Whedon yes. is awesome. He is yeah. awesome. Joss Whedon is just he's fantastic. He is. He's God. He is my God now. We have the Joss Whedon prayer from uh, oh uh, Shepherd. Uh, 
Yeah. Kurt, Kurt it I have it better. printed out, actually, and I have it on my desktop. That's it awesome. Is awesome. Yeah. It is brilliant. I think it's a prefix. If you ever have a chance, Deborah and I got to play in the play test of the Serenity, the mm. new Serenity role playing game. Awesome. Very oh, awesome. Really? Oh, we oh, couldn't get into the one at uh, Rincon last in, year. We're in the book. We're in the book. <gasps> You're in really the book. Ah, congratulations. Wow. But it's what? so, the mechanics oh. make it play like a, a Then again, episode. we had we had Ooh. people, because we were playing as the characters, mm -hmm. and we had people that, be, and it was pretty good. I was sure I, I, I felt so bad for us. You were sure for book, how were you? I was, uh. Oh my god, I can't remember. I had you're Jane thing. all the way, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, he's the doctor, actually. You, you were Simon. Doctor, you but were all Simon. the mechanics, no. it's just... Whoever, um, oh, I feel bad for the guy that played Walsh. Mm -hmm. yes. He spent most yeah, of the game Walsh in prison. Yes. Uh, oh, please. He <laughs> literally, anyone who's anyone who's seen... He got arrested and then spent most of the game in prison. Oh. Probably telling oh. people, have you ever been with a lawyer woman? <laughs> okay, let's do some. Okay, so... We fell through a hole. Welcome back to D&D &D Journey of the 5th Edition.